Okay, so we've seen that you can set up and that you can have available all of these different properties and all these different things. But how do you get the data from these properties into your drawings? Well, let's start off by looking at the cover sheet. Double click on this file and that will open it up. Now, this cover sheet already has some fields set up with it. And the key to getting the data from your sheet set manager into your drawings is fields. Fields are text objects are not standalone objects, but the field object is just part of any text object in AutoCAD. For example, anything up here in this annotation box. So you can have text, dimensions, leaders, or tables. You can put a field in any of the text areas for these objects here. If you have an attributed block, you can populate that text by using a field which will get information from the sheet set manager. And you can see that here. A field will have a bit of a gray box behind the text. You can see this is regular text drawn by. This text is using a field. So if I double click on it, this will open up my text manager. And you can put a field in single line text or in multi line text. This happens to be single line text right here, but it's a field. If I double click it, it will bring up my field manager here. And from the field, you can get all sorts of information from your file about your file and in your drawing. If you click on this box right here, this blue box, and we click on the all option, here are all the different types of things that you can put into your drawing through a field. Now that's a lot. Lucky for us, we have these bit of filters for us. So if you need to put the date and time in your drawing, you can be the created date, current date, plot date, or a save date. The create date is just when you create it, and it will read that information and put it in here. And you have your different formats in this column, however you want to put it in. You can pick one, and this date format gives you the idea. And these are your hints. M is for month, D is for day, Y is for year, etc. Same thing with all these dates. The plot date field type option is really cool because if you put that in your drawing somewhere, it will stamp your drawing with the plot date and time, whichever one of these settings you've decided to pick, so that you know when you printed it. And so it updates the date every time you print it. So if I print something now, it'll put the time from now and the date on it. If I print it tomorrow, it'll put tomorrow's date and the time in which I print it. So that's really cool. Uh, if you've saved the file, it'll put that date in there, and so you'll know when the file was saved last. There's a lot of different things. And this is a, just one example with only dates. The document field takes information from the file itself, the DWG file. This is the author, any comments that you want to put in, file name, which is a really good idea, file size, etc. This gives you some hyperlink information so that you can actually create a hyperlink that will take you somewhere, take you to another file, it will take you to a website, take you to somewhere else in the drawing. You just click on this hyperlink button here, wait for it to load, and you'll be able to add in the hyperlink. And this field on the top here will be the text that's displayed. So this is the hyperlink. It looks like a hyperlink from just about anything else. You can select a target on your drawing. You can go to a web page you can open up a file. So this can be a tool that you can use. You can send an email address, a view of the drawing, etc. Now none of these things really are from the sheet set manager. But you can also get object information. This other has some different variables that you can read. Plot settings. And then finally sheet sets. All of these work the same way all these field insertions. They get data from somewhere and they display it in your text on your drawing. So to get the sheet set data onto your field, you come here. Now, there are several different ways to get the data and they all mean something a little bit different. Most of these options you can see here say current. You have the current sheet, which means the file that is opened right now. It will look for this information from the sheet that your text that you're making now is in. So right here we have current sheet custom. So if you have any customized data that you've created in your sheet set manager for this sheet, you can get to it here. So you click here, 
this is a preview this shows you what it's going to look like and you can lock the case in uppercase lowercase first capital title or none none means just exactly the way it's been typed in now you have custom properties here that you've created for the sheets if you click on this arrow this one only has drawn by so we have the current sheet we have current sheet description current sheet issue purpose see these are all the standard sheet set data forms or fields areas you know that we saw earlier that come with it current sheet and number number and title revision date revision number or you can go to the current sheet set so it's not just the sheet now it's the current sheet set this will go and give you some information you can go to the same types of information as we saw up here these are for the sheets these are from the sheet set so this is where you would get your project number or name if there's some subset information or your current sheet title, which is the name of the drawing, here it's cover. Or the third type of choice really is to go to a specific file. So all of these options here look at the current sheet or current sheet set that's activated or associated with this file. Now a sheet set, you can go to a specific sheet set file. You can just browse to wherever it is and to activate it or what typically happens is that it will open up your current sheet set and this is the one we're in so it lists the file right here and we have different properties project number name and it will read directly from this sheet set file now if you do this and you try to move your file to a different sheet set for some reason it's still going to read from this sheet set it won't automatically go to your new sheet set that you put it in so you typically for these items you want to use these options for the current sheet set but sometimes you just can't do that so that's okay go to sheet set click on the button here this will expand out the list here is the cover so our cover file that we have set up has this specific information in it and we can get that so we can say hey I want to display the sheet number for the drive roller okay so I click here and I need the sheet number I click here and now I click OK and that displays it right in that box for me number 10 that's a lot to take in at one time but that's how you do it so here we have the name of the sheet I can double click in this text double click on the field and it tells me right here it's current sheet title and that's what I want excellent now if you want to add another field that's not there there are two different ways to do it one is to right click inside the text box that you're editing and go to the insert field option and click it and that brings you right back here cancel that or you can press control and F at the same time and that will insert a field and those two options work the exact same way whether it's an attributed text field single line text multi-line text a dimension a table or a leader they will all get you to the same place so that's how you get the information so let's add a file name right here so we don't have any text here to click on so we can either make text or I'm going to do the easy way and I'm going to copy this text here place it there and then double click it to edit it double click the field again and what we're looking for is file name and this isn't in the sheet set but it works the same way we come here click on sheet set go to document and we want file name now I want just the file name only and so I don't want the extension I know it's an AutoCAD file I'm going to click OK and there's my text now you may need to manipulate your text a little bit to get it to work the way you want it to and that's just fine you can click it and you can change the justification over here to anything you need you can make it annotative you can change the height you can change the width whatever it is you need to do to get it to work so that's how you get the sheet set property into your file. Now, as you can see, this is a table and it has all of our sheet names and numbers in it. Now there's a quick and easy way to generate this and we're gonna talk about that in another section. 
But that's just one of the really cool time-saving tools from Sheet Sets.